Hello, lovelies, and welcome to part one of series one of the base game of The Sims 4. You're looking at this and going, what is this? Is this heaven? Yes, it is. It's simming heaven. It's so far, I think, the best thing I've ever experienced in my life for The Sims, and I'm just saying create a sim. Now, I'm not going to be showing you a tour of Creative Sim because I recorded a video, an hour-long video, but I recorded a video of um, all of the new items in uh, Creative Sim, so you can go check that out if you want to. And so basically, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to tour, I'm just going to show off these Sims, um, just their everyday wear and their personalities, um, because these are the two Sims that we will be playing as in this Sims 4 Let's Play. Okay, so our first sim is Miss Julep Giles. Um, I gave her the feminine walk, which looks like this, because, um, as you know, there's different walk styles. And I gave her the feminine walk because I love that walk in general, and I think it fits her personality. Um, she has, like, a low voice, like me. And um, her aspiration is to be a master mixologist, so that gave her the essence of flavor trait, which is the extra trait you get whenever you pick a aspiration and then I gave her loves the outdoors self-assured and the foodie trait and there's not as much description as in the sims 3 traits like self-assured literally just says these sims tend to be confident um not so descriptive uh this one's a bit more it says these sims become happy and have fun when eating good food become uncomfortable when eating bad food and can watch cooking shows for ideas and then loves the outdoors just says these sims can enthuse about nature to other sims and become happy went outdoors. So yeah, it's not as descriptive, but I actually don't mind so much because they're more self-explanatory traits. Like they're not as, uh, I guess, com I guess you could say complex. Um, like in The Sims 3, like you had the trait of diva or sailor or um, uh, irresistible or brooding, you know, those need a bit more explanation if you didn't know what those words mean or you didn't really understand what that entailed with the the trait. So I think it's nice that these are a little more self-explanatory. Loves the outdoors, well, it literally means what it says. Obviously, I think as expansion packs come out, we'll probably get, um, we'll probably get more interesting and less self-explanatory traits, which will require more description, which I'm excited for. Um, and there's no, um, I guess I'll show it off, there's no more, you know, favorite food, favorite color, which, and favorite music style, which I think, I'm a little upset, I feel like we lost something with that, it was more personalization, but, you know, now that we have these, you know, quote-unquote new emotions that make your sims, um, different and react differently and have different personalities, I guess it really doesn't matter if they're supposed to be smarter than ever, right? So, yeah, um, there we go, so, um, that's julep giles and this is miss anya giles her sister now i didn't just self-create her because i know she doesn't look so much like julep but i actually did the you know creative sim play with genetics and i just made this is what popped up i played around with the genetics kept randomizing you know make a sister for her and until i like this one and she's really cute and i gave her the perky walk because i feel like she's a very <laughs> very perky person hold on don't stop it's a very cute walk. It's almost like walking on a tightrope, though, because tightrope because they keep putting their feet in front, one in front of the other. It's like when you go to a checkup at the doctor's and it's like put one foot like you're walking on a tightrope in front of the other. That's what I think when I see that, that walk. Um, but yeah, she wants the romantic soulmate aspiration, which is a romantic aspiration. Um, oh, I guess. Oh no, that just tells you the extra trait. Okay, so it doesn't tell you what. It just the sim wants to find and live a rewarding life with the one. And so she got the extra trait of alluring. Alluring sims are more successful at romance than others. I gave her music lover. These sims gain powerful moodlets and boost their fun need while listening to music and become happy when playing instruments. Uh, romantic, these sims tend to be flirty and may become sad if they don't have any romantic social interactions for a period of time. And creative, these sims tend to be inspired, can share creative ideas with other sims, and may become upset if they're not creative for a period of time. So all of those are actually more descriptive than um, Julep's um, traits. And I forgot to read you her uh, master mix, her 
aspiration. Basically, it's just the Sim wants to know everything there is to know about mixology. And mixology is the Sims version of bartending. So you work on your mixology skill. You buy a bar and you work on your mixology skill by mixing drinks and you become a mixologist or a bartender. Which, it came with, the, in The Sims 3, actually, it came with Late Night. Um, when they added that expansion pack, they added you know, bars and nightclubs and stuff, and they added the mixology skill. And now it's in the base game of The Sims 4, which is something I've wanted in the base game since The Sims. So, we're finally here. We've taken steps forward. Yes. Okay. Um, so, these two, their story, I don't know if I really have a story with them. I think it's just sort of, I tend to just do two girls. Most of the time, they're best friends or their sisters who just tend to move someplace. I don't really put much backstory into it. I just make it up as I go along. Um, with that being said, I think this one's a little different where these two sisters are actually not as close as um, a lot of my other characters usually are. Usually they're like best friends or they're if they're sisters, they are each other's best friend first and then others come second. These two, I feel like they're a little bit distant. First of all, they're... Jula, you can tell, I think, just has a more mature air about her, and so she's older, and Anya's a little younger, and so Jula sort of babies Anya, because they grew up, I, th I have a feeling they grew up, like, in this big household, and Jula and Anya are the youngest, but Jula holds the fact that she's, like, a little older than Anya, and therefore treats her like a baby, and sort of acts like her mom and sort of bosses her around and dotes on her a lot, and Anya doesn't like that. Anya sort of wants to break free from the judgment of her sister, which is why she wants to find a soulmate so she can, like, find someone to be with and move out from her sister and have someone else besides her sister in her life because both of them just wanted to get out of the house, but there wasn't enough money for them to, uh, be by themselves. So, on, so Anya was like, fine, I guess I'll move out with Julep. So, uh, we'll see how these two to progress because Julep is really focused on just trying to make it in her career and Anya is just wants to find a soulmate and get out of underneath her sister's shoe but um yeah that's basically it that's the story of these two sims and I guess we can jump into gameplay I'm so nervous I've been like sitting here for like five minutes like I don't want to press the record button not because I'm nervous to record because you know this isn't my first video but because I'm nervous to press this play button and actually, like, pick a town and start the game and... Uh, I... I'm scared. I'm really scared. But... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Click D, save this household's library, and begin... Random... Uh, do I like... No, I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> I could be sitting... I could sit here for hours with this portrait. Oh, that basically describes it all. Yep. That's it. And I already saved the households of the gallery. I guess I could... Oh, because I changed Anya's hair color. Right. I forgot I did that. I didn't like... She had, like, black hair, and it was, like, too harsh on her skin, so I changed it. That's the only thing I changed. Everything else, she came like that. The game just genetically engineered her that that way, which is good, because they, they don't look like twins. I don't want them to look like twins. I want them to look like slightly different ages. But, yeah, that's a good portrait. We're gonna... Here we go! Save and play! It's running so smooth, my game. I'm so surprised. And it froze on the loading screen. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I mean... Oh, we're already here. Never mind. Yeah, okay. So, moving in. Your sims need a place to live in the world. We'll show you several perfect homes in Willow Creek or Oasis Springs. The home you choose offers you unique neighbors and activities, but don't worry, you can always visit or move to any of the worlds in The Sims 4. So it looks like, unlike, you know, in The Sims 3, when you uh, started up the game, you picked on the world, you know, you did the drop-down arrow, you picked on the world, read the description, you played, you loaded that world, and then you created your sims to move them into that world. It looks like you, it's the opposite now, where you create your sims first, and then you pick your world. So we have Willow Creek, and... Oasis Springs, and it says, choose which world you want your sims to live in. Don't worry, they can travel or move between them freely. Click Oasis Springs to take a look. So, I mean, for taking a look, this really isn't much. Um, 
this is a great starting home for your sims click this lot to move in um i'll decide that for myself remember you can only switch between uh, yeah i got it i got it it's not that hard um it's not really i mean it's really pretty and it's easy to load i think it makes the game run s smoother definitely having this whole grayed out thing but at the same time i can't really decide what the world looks like Re at sort of at all quite honestly i feel like it it just sort of takes it away from it like i mean basically i guess you can see that it has it's gray it's it's a desert land and um it's not that big i'm a little underwhelmed <laughs> i have to say it's not that big um it's you know one two three four one two three four five yeah five neighborhoods and then the park in the center um and there's only one, two, three, four, five, and there's only five lots on each neighborhood. Well, there's four here, four here. Okay, so there's five here, four here, and just just two. Um, and then the park. So that's a little small, and Willow Creek's a bit bigger. I'm glad to see the layout's not exactly the same, but it's similar. Um, Willow Creek's more woodsy, but I feel like I've seen a lot of Willow Creek. Um, I don't know. But which is the bigger starter home? Because we need two bedrooms. Alright, that's that's pretty good. Or we could just... <laughs> we could move in there. Or we could merge a household with, like, one of the other sims. But I'm not looking to do that. This is a let's play, so we're not going to do that. But, so, it looks like that is a two-bedroom household. A house. Sorry, not a household. And... That's nice, though. I have to say, I do like that. I like this house better than the other one, even if it is a one-bedroom. And... I do like the fact that the layout is sleeker here, but... I don't know. We've seen a lot of Willow Creek in the live streams. Um... Uh, well, we can always move, right? We can always move. So, you know what? We're going to... We're going to play in Willow Creek. Um, oh, we can bulldoze it. That's great. Actually, I didn't know that. Um, uh, let's... We'll buy it furnished. So, here we go. And it's freezing on the loading screens, but it's still not... It doesn't take that long to load i just have a really old computer it's still running pretty smoothly though i have to say um for my computer i'm actually really surprised like that didn't take long at all in the sims 3 i remember it, it takes me half an hour to load sims 3 and i still have sims 3 installed in my game and i have custom content and like five expansion packs in the sims 3 the fact that this is running so smoothly with that on this old computer that doesn't have a lot of storage left it, it's great I think that's fantastic. So it says taking control. There are so many new features in The Sims 4. Before we can get to all of them, we need to cover the basics. First, we'll quickly learn how to control your Sims. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Basically, same stuff that we've done before. Oh, that's different. Oh, this is different. If you don't like the default camera control settings, hit the control shift tab to toggle an alternate setting, which will be familiar to fans of The Sims 3. Yeah, can I switch that? Thank you. Um, I'm not crazy about that. Wall controls. Modify whether the walls on the house are shown. Click the walls up button. Oh my gosh, that's so easy. <gasps> focus the camera. It's easy to focus the camera on any sims in the household. Click twice on a different sims portrait or once on the current sim to focus the camera on them. Okay, yeah, pretty easy. Follow the camera. If you right click. Yep, same thing we've been doing since sims or sims the sims. Wow. Okay, um, <laughs> I can't speak. I'm so excited. Like, I don't know, you can't probably can't tell because I'm speaking in a monotone voice, but I'm actually, like, literally, ah, jittery on coffee and stuff, and ah, so excited to be playing this finally because I pre ordered this as soon as they announced The Sims 4. So, I've been waiting a whole year for this game, so. <laughs> I'm super, super excited. Anyway, time controls. You can pause, be, yep, same thing as always. Um, action cue, 
and click on use and use. <laughs> I guess we'll, we won't let her use the toilet, as always. I never let my Sims use the toilet, which if you go back and watch my Sims 3 miniseries that I have yet to decide or I'm going to continue now that The Sims 4 is out, even though it was supposed to be finished before The Sims 4 came out. Ugh. Um, yeah. If you go back and watch that, you'll know I never let my Sims use the frickin' bathroom because they always have to use the bathroom at the wrong time. Anyway, interactions are the ones your Sims are currently doing. Interactions above the box. This actually isn't that hard to grasp so far. Anyway, I'm assuming it might get harder. Sims can now multitask. This means they are no longer restricted to a single interaction at once. Try conversing while exercising or watching television. I saw that in live streams and in, like, you know, certain Simmers uh, gameplay when they got invited to Sims camp the creators camp when they got to post some videos of them playing it looks great just they they're sitting they're talking and they're like walking around and they're sitting down and oh god i love it sims have minds of their own based on their emotions traits and needs they will make decisions that will surprise delight and sometimes bewilder you for autonomy and then playing with emotions Sims can experience an entire range of emotions that will change their lives in big and small ways. We're going to make your Sim inspired to demonstrate how one of these emotions works. From there, their emotional lives will be in your heads. I don't know if you guys want to see the tutorial, but because I literally have not played the game at all, and I feel like a lot of Simmers aren't going to do this, I will play the tutorial. So we're going to give your Sim an inspired movement so they become inspired. This is a motion that makes your Sims better at being creative. Okay. Your sim is now inspired. Hover over the emotion to learn about it. Positive emotions grant... Oh, they, they changed it from moodlets to emotions. <laughs> I'm going to keep calling them moodlets, though, for a long time before I finally call them emotions. But it says, inspired plus five. Burst of inspiration. The sim is feeling a sudden burst of inspiration and inspired for three hours. So it's literally the same thing as a moodlet. Nothing different. Okay. And these are... Oh, they're calling them your whims. Oh, I didn't even read that. But it says, propose crazy scheme to someone. Click on a sim and select propose crazy scheme from the friendly category. Sims can perform the social while confident or inspired. I'm like so excited that I'm talking too fast for my brain to process things. And that's why I'm struggling to say words. I'm not like this all the time. It's just right now I'm currently struggling to say words. Um, it says, cook. Your sim is inspired and wants to cook. Because while they... Because they are inspired, they will cook better meals. Cook on the fridge and select cook to prepare a meal. Okay. Um, okay. I'll switch these options later on. Um, ah! Oh my goodness. I'm so not used to this. Um, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not used to this at all. How does one work this? Um, that falls down. Okay, that's easy. No more, like, opening it and clicking it and where is the freaking oh they made it a two bedroom awesome perfect so i can just redecorate it um so cook um hamburger cake which i think i got because i have the digital deluxe which i said in my um uh creative sim video which is the tour of literally every new thing that came with creative sim <laughs> That's why it's an hour. Um, grilled cheese, scrambled eggs, um, family size. Let's do family size. Oh, wow, this is cool. And she's playing a game on her phone. What are you doing? She's literally acquired the video gaming skill. That's really quick. Wow. Your sim is inspired and wants to cook. Uh, yeah, I'm doing that. And what are you doing? You are a reed point farmer no more. The downfall of Grant and Rodick. I think that's a play on the book that was in Sims 3. Um, oh, here it is. Skills. So wait, these are career, skills, relationships, inventory, somology, somology, and your needs, as always. Acquire the cooking skill. Cool. Um, wait, so that's what this looks like, which is great. The cooking animation is fantastic. Um, I love it. She's going to continue reading, but it says, your sim has gained the cooking skill. So, let's click on skills, and it says cooking, and it shows 20, oh wow, it tells us the percentage. Oh, that's great. Improving skills. Uh, can, your sim can learn about the current skill and your sim's current skill level by hovering over, oh my gosh, is she, is she cooking? Your sim's emotions 
will influence every aspect of their lives in incredible ways. We'll show you how. Wait, she's grungy from low hygiene. Okay. Um, hold on. She's cooking and talking at the same time? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I know it's so weird, like such a small thing to freak out about, but it's... Oh my gosh, that's great. Oh my goodness. Look at that, and it's like not even buggy or anything, they're literally just standing there talking to each other. That's fantastic. Okay, so she's gonna use the shower, and... Are you, like, what's up? What's up with their needs, like, so far? She's, like, uh, I don't care if she's not that hungry. She can, I really need to, wow, these, um, uh, I'm so not used to the camera. <laughs> uh, grab a serving. Okay, yeah. She's gonna grab a serving. She's using the shower, and she's fine now. So it's, like, depending on their needs, they actually... The, it's not that much different from The Sims 3 or The Sims 2, where, like, you know, depending on their needs, their colors would change and stuff. But it does add a nice touch to see it say something like, you know, to see it say, oh, uncomfortable, or, you know, oh, miserable, or something like that. And I know for a fact that later on in the game that the emotions will actually affect the, um, the gameplay much more, like, later on. So, it's okay. And, oh, and wash the dishes, because we don't have a dishwasher. I love that stove. That's great. Actually, can you, um... Oh, you can! Okay, I didn't know if you could still be able to do that from The Sims 3. So she's just, um... Miss... Anya. I have to get used to their names. I don't really know their names that well. She's still showering. Wow, that takes a while. But she's uncomfortable, because she had a horrible shower. <laughs> Really? And now she's going to... Oh, she's going to hug her sister. This is great. I I can almost literally, instead of just doing a Let's Play or controlling my Sims, I am just so tempted to literally sit here and watch them do whatever they want. <laughs> but since she's uncomfortable, we're going to have her complain about her problems because I just like want to see these new interactions. And Anya's walking away. Anya could care less about her, her sister's like problems. She's like, get out of here. I really don't care. Whatever. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're... Apparently you're stuck. It is a minute into the gameplay, folks. And she's stuck already. Great. Great. <laughs> but it's it's The Sims. I mean, if it wasn't buggy, they'd probably be doing something wrong. Oh, lag spike! Oh. That didn't help. Another gonna chat. Oh my gosh, I love this. They're, like, they're so... Apparently they're friends. I kind of want to lower their relationship down, but, um... This is great. They're, like, really smart. They just automatically do whatever they want. They automatically sit down. It's no more literally standing in the middle of the way of everything <laughs> and blocking people. So we're gonna have, um... We're gonna have her find a job, actually. So we're not gonna chat with our sister. We're gonna find a job. And there's the entertainer, writer, tech guru, but she wants to be um, a mixologist. And I'm pretty sure if I remember English Simmer, because I watched her preview when it came out, she said that the culinary career actually leads into the mixology skills. So if you join the culinary career later on, it'll you can choose to branch off into mixology. So it says culinary. Anyone can make dinner or mix a drink at home. The culinary career is for those who want to take it to another level and make money doing it. Career branches. Oh, it says right there, chef and mixologist. So we're going to work. We're going to do that. We're going to become a culinary chef. And where's the bookshelf? Because... She keeps... Here it is. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, read. Can you study, like, in Sims 2 and Sims 3? Nope. It looks like you can't. So, I'll, de I'll decorate their stuff off part, because I'm just too busy. I want to just play with, um... 
What does she want to do? She wants to plant something. She wants to do something romantic, and she wants to make a friend. And she's feeling... She has a deep connection. Apparently, she feels like she has a deep connection with her sister. So, we're just gonna... That's not gonna happen. So, what we're gonna do is... We're going to travel with Julep, and we're gonna go to a bar. And we're just gonna... Um... We're just gonna go out and have her meet somebody. I don't even see you there. So we have the gym, even though that's not what I want. Oh, oh, I see. I was mousing over this, which picks up there because you have to mouse over the building. Okay, that makes sense. Rattlesnake juice, a bar, uh, the solar flare. It's a lounge. It looks like a karaoke bar. Um, it's a mu there's a museum. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's great. Oh, there's the Caliente household, um, the Welsh household, um, oh wow, I love these, Rio Verde, um, we could also, if we wanted to, we could actually travel to Willow Creek, uh, which we might do, if I like the, um, if I like the bars better. It's lagging a little bit, um, but it's not that bad, that's the library, the gym, Oh, there's a nightclub. I kind of want to go to the nightclub or the karaoke bar. I don't know. I think we'll stay in town for now because if we're going to be romantic, I'd rather be romantic with someone who's in town so that way it's easier to, um, to socialize with them. So we're going to go to the... It says lounge, but it looks like it's... Like, I would refer to it as a karaoke bar, judging from the microphone. I'm assuming... We'll have a karaoke um, uh, machine there and stuff, because why else would that be there? Or, or, that's right, it might not be karaoke, it might be the comedy skill. I forgot about that, that they added that, the whole comedy skill thing. And, um, yeah, that was pretty swift. Pretty swift, I will say. Um, these controls are going to kill me, but I'm not switching them up yet. So, um, where is it? Are we... Is this it? Oh, it's up. Okay, I was like, what? Okay. This is a lounge, and I'm confused on how the controls work. What's she going to do? She's going to chat with Bob Pancake, and she's playing another game on her phone. Stop playing a game on your phone. Stop it. Let's go order a drink. Or, so is this karaoke, or is it... No, it's the, um... It's not karaoke. It's the, uh, comedy skill microphone. I don't know why. I just had a brain fart and couldn't think of what it was. I'm too busy paying attention to the environment and everything like that. It's great. Um, a zebra fizz. I think that came with the, um, with the digital deluxe, the one with the hats. So she's going to order this, order a drink. And I want her to chat up with someone. It doesn't look like there's, um, Cochi Manley. I mean, his last name is Manley. <laughs> he sounds like he could be interesting, so we'll give him a friendly introduction. Anya and Cody don't know each other yet. Well, I know that. I just introduced them. It, the interaction is called friendly introduction, right? Yeah, so I know that. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so snarky with that. I just think it's really weird that they say that. Um... So they're just gonna... Oh, now she's in a group chat automatically. And she apparently has the comedy skill. That's so weird. But look at the um, the town. There's actually people... <laughs> there's actually people, like, walking around. Like... Oh, my goodness. Look, see? Oh, he's flirting. Is, is he flirting with us already? But look at this. Look, there's Sims walking around. And... Oh my goodness, the environment is gorgeous. Wow. I am actually stunned. Like, I'm literally, I can't say anything because my breath is like, <gasps> this is fantastic. Oh, you're not even talking to Cody. Stop telling her. So give her a heart, give him a heartfelt compliment. We're going to brighten his day. We're going to have a deep, discuss interests, uh, discuss bigger band. Oh, it looks like we have that in common. Um. Tell a joke about ducks. Great. Um, and what are you doing? You're just going to view a piece of art. No, stop it. Stop it. 
Stop. Um, how are your needs? You're fine. And she's uncomfortable because she had a disappointing drink. Uh, Foodie Sim only enjoys truly inspired drinks. This is not one of those. Aw, that sucks. Oh, and she needs to use the bathroom. So I'm assuming, is this for the girls? I have no idea, actually. Um, but she's happy because she got to view some art, which is cool. Um, oh, that's uncomfortable. Oh, he's leaving, so that's okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Vivian is focused, but I'm not talking to Vivian. So it looks like, how do you know? No, I don't care about Bob so much. Oh, this is, okay, this is annoying. I will say that. I think this will become an annoying thing to have to interact with. Um, gossip. Get to know. And this about albums. Oh, joke about politicians. That's cool. Um, though you gotta be careful who you do that to, because sometimes it's not gonna work out in your favor. Um, she's gonna, no. Okay, get out. Um, we're just gonna tend to have Miss, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Julep. I wanted to say Jubilee, because I had a sim named Jubilee once, and it's similar, so I was like, Jubilee, but it's not Jubilee. Um, do an impression. Is he making fun of us or is he telling a joke? I can't tell. Mock music taste. Um, no. Are they not getting along? I'm confused. Um. Let's try and tell some funny stuff. That always worked in The Sims 3, you doing the funny interactions. So, um, no, okay, so it's, she's eating instead of, okay. That's not what I told you to do, but okay. Great. Okay, hurry up. It takes them a long time to do stuff, I notice. I do like this new animation, though, of the circle and it going around it instead of, like, the long bar with the, um... With the, uh, the literally copy and pasted picture and stuff. I do like that. Oh, she has to use the bathroom, too. Okay. Um, I guess you can use either one because they have walls, so it doesn't really seem to matter. Tell a joke. She wants to tell a joke. Well, he's thinking about romance, so... More choices. We're going to tell a joke about ducks. And what are you doing? I keep... She's gonna... Oh, someone's playing their guitar. And she's uncomfortable from a disappointing drink. Girl, get over that. You had a disappointing drink. It's not that big of a deal. She's just gonna browse the web now. Um, um, clean dishes three times. So, you have like... You have objectives? Okay, so it's like what? Like opportunities? Actually, what's this? So this is your mix 20 drinks, own a bar, and two bars. Okay, so this is what it, what you need to do to complete your lifetime wish. And select new... Oh, you can... Yeah, that's right. I heard about that. We can select a new aspiration whenever you want. Um, who's over here? Just this old guy. Um... <laughs> I love that Bob Pancake is a bartender. I think that's really funny. Um, he's so weird. But we can select a new aspiration, and we can... What's the reward store? Oh, so these are like, um... Yeah, it's like the lifetime happiness points from Sims 3. And the, um, lifetime rewards that you could get from The Sims 2. Um, and The Sims 3. But all traits and potions. Oh, finally, they're divided by uh, something more interesting. So, I guess you don't... So you get new traits? Oh, and fertile. Oh, uh, fertile. Not fertile. I don't know. Can you say fertile? I've never really known. Um, all single-use service requests are free. Awesome. But fertile, as always, you know, that's helpful when you're playing a generations-based household. Um, or really any household where you want to start a family. And so, this is the information stats. This is so weird. It's like, really, um... 
<laughs> oh my goodness, it's like Enros, but in the base game. Do you guys know what that is? The Enros mod? The Twalens mod? It's great. Um, I had it in Sims 3. It really cleaned up my game. What is this? Household collections. Drag and drop. Oh, this is your inventory! Okay. And these are your relationships where you see... So we're friends. And we're acquaintances with him. And skills. And then your job. Okay. So it's not that hard. At all. So she's feeling flirty. Oh. Why is she feeling... She's feeling flirty from romantic traits. <laughs> so is she friends with... She's still acquaintances with Cody. Um, but out of everyone here, he's really the only one I would like her to start a relationship with. So we're going to just keep talking to Cody. Or we can... We could try to tell him a dirty joke because we're feeling very flirty. But I guess we can also try and ask him about our love life. Because he's flirty too. So we'll see. She wants to hug someone. Okay. Okay. And we're not really doing much with... Um, what's her name? Oh gosh, this is embarrassing. Julep. I don't know her name. <laughs> At all. And um, oh, go tend the bar before Bob gets back there. Come on, I, I don't understand why she's not doing that. I don't understand. What, it, what is the problem? Why can't you just... You know what, can you just make a drink then? Because that's... Ugh. Come on, make a drink. At least make a drink. <laughs> she has no idea what she's doing. At all. She's like... I, I, is it... Is it supposed to be empty? Doesn't the drink come in automatically? <laughs> Nope. No, it does not. Julep, it does not. Okay, so. Anya is, yes, we know. She's our sister. We would know she's sorry. Um, still acquaintances. Did he accept her flirt? I guess, because she's not embarrassed, so. He was all down with it, but. Ricky Cat. Where did he go? Where did, um, Cody Manley go? Where's, where's Cody Manley? And now she's bored. Already she's bored. Girl, you haven't been having a flirtatious conversation for like a minute and you're bored. Oh, she's going to chat with Alexander. Is he an elder as well or does he just have gray hair? I I can't tell. Um, can we see? Is Does the tab thing work? It does. Okay. So, hold on. I want to see your age! But apparently you can't use P for pause. What? Oh, just not in tab. Okay, this is weird. Now she's tense from... Oh, from the terrible music. But, uh, Julep is fine with that, it seems. Um, not much is going on. Her fun is down, though. So, um... Yeah, this place is sort of dead. But I guess her fun... I actually want to ha have her, um... Come here and tell some jokes. Because that'll probably get her fun up. And she's probably better than, uh... Whoever that is. Miss Ashley Cohen. As Anna for lets it up. Flirty, flirty, flirt. I don't know where Co Co Colty went. Cody, Cody Manley went. I don't know where he went, but she's like attracted to all of these these guys who are like adults. Well, actually, no, he's a young adult. He is a young adult. Okay, so this one's a young adult, but all the other ones, like they looked like they were adults or elders. <laughs> Um, she's just going around talking to random people. So, what can she actually, um, chat with, go chat with him, because I don't know where he went. Watch performance, or chat with Mario, and she's feeling playful, briefly amused. That performance was kind of funny. Julep chuckled to herself a few times. So these emotions are basically really cool, um... Uh, versions of the moodlets. Like, the moodlets actually affect the emotions and how they're feeling, and just how they act. And, um, she's getting tired. 
How is, um... She's getting hungry and tired. She's hungry and tired. And what is she... She's got to nap. You're not going to nap on the couch in a bar. You're not doing that. Order chips. So it looks like you can't order food anymore. And now she's going to... But she's going to order chips, which is cool. And, um... What are you doing? Oh, she's dancing to music. Okay. She's dancing and listening to music at the same time. But where's the music? Oh, the music's playing from here. Oh my gosh. It says listen to retro and it's playing old... Old Sims music. I think it's Sims 2 music. Stop it. Oh my goodness. I'm so used to right clicking, but actually all you have to do is click on it. So that's why it took her so long to stop. She wants to tell a joke. Um, here, you want to tell jokes so bad? Go give that woman a funny introduction and then tell her a joke. And so, what are we? Go here. Um, apparently this woman's evil. More choices. Funny. I don't know. I think my phone just vibrated. Flash the crazy eyes? Oh, I think I saw this. After this, we're gonna have them go home because they're really tired. So there you go. She told a joke. Or did she not tell a joke? What? Okay. Friendly, funny. Oh, I guess you actually have to tell a joke. She's gonna dance. No, she's gonna tell a joke. I want to tell a joke before we leave. Come on. I just want to see this interaction. Apparently, Vivian's playful as well, but she's just being a terrible human being. Okay, so we're gonna we're going to travel with, and we're just gonna with Anya, and we're gonna head home. So what is she gonna do? She's oh never mind. We're just gonna travel as we sharpen the reether scythe. Reaper. Reaper. I said Reaper. 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 <laughs> Reaper side! Ah! Anyway, fine-tuning physiques. I like this loading screen. It's so sleek. And it looks all scientific and stuff. It reminds me of, um... I think... I think it reminds me of the land grabs. And I can't remember why. It was like... The science, land grab science facility that had a symbol like that or something. That's what it reminds me of. Which is why it's so weird that they chose that format for the, um, and she's angry. Great. Why are you angry? Um, oh, click to expand. Oh, these are all of her stuff. She's awkward comment. Why? Oh, why did Julep say that? I don't know. Great tunes. And now she's angry from socialization because he had a pleasant, unpleasant conversation. But now she's, um, grab a serving of what? Oh, food. Okay. But she's okay now. She looks like she's going to be okay. Even though she's still angry. And she's feeling gluttonous. So she's just going to go to sleep. Anya's stealing the double bed. Can you set over bed ownership? Nope. We've backtracked and bed ownership no longer exists. Okay. That's that's lovely. That means no more customization. Yay. Well, you could always lock the doors probably. Actually, let's see. Can you? Click on her. Um, where is she? Is that the room she's in? Where's the room that she's in? Ugh, if I could see her. Yeah, that's the room she's in. You can't lock doors. Great. Okay. Well, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever, right? I mean, it's not that bad. Maybe they're actually smart enough that they don't need bed ownership to know which bed is theirs, like, after they sleep in it. Because, if I remember correctly, even in The Sims 3, when you assigned bed ownership i do believe they slept in other sims bed and she wants to rant and rave someone um or she's just gonna sleep in the same bed stop it stop it no you have there's another bed here for a reason you can sleep in it <laughs> um come on just go Alright, so, um, yeah, that was it. That's the introduction to The Sims 4. It looks like it's gonna be really great and really interesting, and it just runs so smooth. Oh my goodness. It's... Look at this. This is Speed 3. Look at it. It's not freezing. It's not glitching. It's not slow. Ah!
this is what this is my test to see if there's lag i literally just start going like this and it works but um so yeah it's really great this was part one i hope you enjoyed it um apparently anya's getting up to pee um <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, this is part one, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm actually going to end it this time, not get distracted, but yeah, goodbye lovelies.